Welcome back to my channel. I had so much fun making this DIY. Today we'll be creating a room divider slash wall decor slash backdrop if you were to like take photos or want to do a photo shoot. Today I will be showing you how to make one panel and in total you will need four panels to create the wall divider. For the first panel, I'll be using a total of three foam boards and I will be basically cutting the foam board in half. As you can see, it's not quite cut in half in this picture, it's a little less than half. But I had already had a pre-cut frame that I used for another project a while back, so I decided to use that instead. You should be able to at least get six pieces out of each foam board. So I'm just using my razor to separate each piece and then I'm going to go ahead and separate them all together. So after you're done, you should have 17 squares. Now I'm taking my pre-cut square and I'm going to trace inside of the frame because that's the part that I'm going to be cutting out. After I am done tracing my squares, I'm going to take my razor and just go around the perimeter of the line I drew just to cut. So then later on I can actually just push the foam out of the square. This project is perfect for a day that you just want to watch a movie or listen to some music, drink some wine. Okay, now that I'm done taking the razor around the perimeter, I'm actually pushing out the part that I've cut. I'm doing this for all 17 squares. Next, I went to Home Depot and I got these pieces of wood. I'll leave the lengths in the description and I just glued them together with wood glue and held them together with tape. While they were drying, I decided to go ahead and add my squares. Right now, I am just measuring where I want them to go and leaving a little space in between each square. And now that everything is measured, I'm going to come in with my hot glue gun and just start um, gluing the squares around the perimeter. I also cut out a piece of foam board to put in between each square to make sure everything was even and spaced out um, evenly. So for this panel you should have five more square pieces which you're going to put in the middle. So you're just going to overlap the other squares. Next you're just going to go in with the hot glue gun and glue the squares down properly on top. Uh, you can basically find your own technique for this but you just have to uh, make sure you're getting the glue under the square so it can hold it down. 
And if you're doing this DIY, you don't have to do all four panels. If you just want a couple panels for your wall, you can stop at one or two. Um, it, you don't necessarily have to do all four. After I get done gluing the squares on top, I'm gonna take this panel outside and I'm gonna spray paint it silver. So for this part, I'll be using glitter, uh, mirrored rocks, and Mod Podge, which was all purchased at Michael's. I'm actually mixing my glitter with the mirrored rocks to stretch uh, the glitter out more or the rocks out more so I can get more out of it. Um, and if you would like to, you could just purchase glitter. Um, I was just being extra as always with my uh, mirrored rocks. So with the brush, I am just um, dipping into the Mod Pod and I am just going around the squares and adding the uh, Mod Podge and um, glitter to the squares, basically. And as I was making this, I realized that the glitter lasted longer than the actual mirror rocks. So um, if I were to do it again, I would actually just use the glitter. And I apologize, it's not mirror rocks, it's crushed mirror. <laughs> and again, everything I use in this video will be in the description box below. Also, if you want to save some um, glitter, uh, I, what I did was after each panel, I would take up the paper that I put underneath and I would pour all the glitter back in the bottle because honestly, a lot of the glitter falls to the side um, and that will also save you a lot of glitter. After I was done with this panel, I let it dry and I actually did three more. And one thing that I uh, failed to mention is that I also went back over the top with the coat of Mod Pod just to lock in all that glitter so it's not falling on the floor. Last but not least, uh, connecting these hinges to the actual divider. So I'm going to put three hinges in between each divider. One hinge at the top, one hinge at the bottom, and one in the middle. And this is how it looked when I got done screwing it in. So basically this side is gonna mirror the other side of the divider. So I put three in the front and three on the other side. And now for the middle, I turned the divider around and I connected these from the back because the divider needs to be able to fold in inwards in the middle. 
So as you can see, this is the middle divider. So there should be a total of six hinges in the front and three hinges in the back. So I'm going to explain this again for those who may be confused. This is where the hinges should be located in the front of the divider. This is not including the actual last hinge on the bottom of the divider. You can use this divider in so many ways for so many reasons. I had so much fun making it. Uh, DIY divider, room divider, uh, wall decor, backdrop, whatever you want to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you like to see more videos uh, when I post them. And thank you for all your support.